Good morning, this is Akashwani Kohima, the morning news read by Ning Ninem Hang Singh. The death toll in the train accident has risen to 288 and around 1,000 are feared critically injured. Meanwhile, several special and express trains are being cancelled following the accident. Odisha and Tamil Nadu governments have announced one-day state mourning today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced an ex gratia of 2 lakh rupees each to the next of kin of each deceased. He said each injured will be given 50,000 rupees. Railways Minister Ashwini Vaishno also announced an ex gratia for the accident victims. He said 10 lakh rupees will be given to the next of kin of each killed, 2 lakh rupees each to grievously injured and 50,000 rupees each for minor injuries. Meanwhile, Nagaland Chief Minister Nipu Rio has expressed deep pain over the tragic train accident in Odisha. Terming it as a national tragedy, Rio extended condolences to the bereaved families and prayers for speedy recovery to those injured. Nagaland State Department of Higher Education hosted an interaction program of the National Commission for Minority Educational Institutions, NCMEI, in Chumukedima yesterday. Representatives of minority educational institutions from Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Mizoram, Tripura and Sikkim attended the meeting. Addressing the meet, Union Minister of State for Education, Dr. R. R. Singh, said that under Prime Minister Narendra Modi, many schemes like Pradhan Mantri Jandhan Yojana, PMJDY, has been launched for entire Northeast region. He said that education is the important instrument for inclusive growth and education serves as an engine for development of everyone. Singh emphasized that Article 30, Clause 1 gives religion and linguistic minority a fundamental right to establish and set up their own institution. The Union Minister called on the governments in the region to take this opportunity and set up institutions to ensure quality and easy accessibility to education. Pom Limpong Higher Secondary School Upgradation and New Building Inauguration Program was held yesterday with MLA A. Pongshi Pom as the special guest. Speaking on the occasion, Pongshi said, the school motto, Rise and Shine, should not only be printed on the school calendar or school badges, but it should be imprinted in the minds of the students and they should walk and live by it. Recollecting his younger years studying in the school, he said, the school had a very humble beginning with no amenities, but today it has concrete infrastructure and further it has produced many scholars, doctors, engineers and good citizens. The MLA advised the students to work hard in order to make their cherished dreams come true. Nagaland Council of Educational Research and Training, NCERT, has termed those reports as misleading and factually incorrect, wherein it is claimed that evolution and periodic table has been dropped from NCERT books. In a series of tweets yesterday, NCERT said that the periodic table has not been removed from the school education curriculum, but is in fact available in great detail in Unit 3 of Class 11 textbook, Classification of Elements and Periodicity in properties. It further stated that there is full chapter on evolution available in Chapter 6, Evolution of Class 12th textbook, which explains the concept of evolution and Charles Darwin's theory of evolution in great detail. It said, rationalization of textbooks was a need-based exercise to reduce the content load in view of mental health of students during the pandemic. Government has banned 14 fixed-dose drugs as they have been found to lack therapeutic justification and may pose risk to health. A government notification on Friday said it is necessary to prohibit the manufacture, sale and distribution of the fixed-dose medicines in larger public interest. An expert committee recommended that there is no therapeutic justification for the ingredients contained in these fixed-dose combinations and the FDCs may involve risk to human beings. FDC drugs contain a combination of two or more active pharmaceutical ingredients in a single form. They are usually manufactured manufactured in a fixed ratio and distributed. The 14 FDCs include combinations such as nimusulide paracetamol dispersible tablets, amoxicillin bromhexine and folcodine promethazine. The drugs are used for treating cough, common infections, fever and body ache. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day. 